what's up y'all so welcome back all right welcome back to my channel and all of those wonderful things i hope y'all feeling well i hope that this pisces new moon was gentle on you okay this what this is what this video is going to be for i intended on recording it on the day of the pisces new moon but my cycle seemed to switch up and i uh fell on a new moon cycle right which um is something that i haven't had in a really long time so it just took me out like if i had an office that if i had a desk job like had to go into the office i definitely would have had to call in and been like y'all <laughs> i need to take a sick day because it just really it took me over okay so yes we're gonna go ahead and get into these cards we are gonna pull some cards for the elements i may or may not do a collective read i'm not even sure but we're gonna start well no i am so um yes i hope that y'all are feeling well this energy uh was centered a lot around grace right not necessarily being graceful i mean yeah sure being graceful but um giving others grace giving yourself grace right not needing things to be so formal right having the ability to be open and comfortable within oneself as how and who one is right so this is an example using myself this is like my cycle starting and you know me having had made this plan to um record this video on that day like when i make a plan I, I want to stick to it i need to stick to it right that's just my energy though that's my capricorn energy um wanting things to go in alignment as they are as i i set out but i was although i was forced into giving myself grace because i would not have done so out outside of that right so it really made me take a moment to sit and recognize like where is it that i have not been giving myself grace right where is it that i have been um being too hard on myself that i have not allowing things to truly go with the flow all right and i think sometimes we um or i'm just stick to how i experience life right i know sometimes um i've been in a space of feeling like that going with the flow means doing nothing going with the flow doesn't necessarily mean that. i haven't been in that space in a really long time but i know that can manifest in many ways um outside of experience and i've seen it i've witnessed it you know and we can uh, create a narrative uh surrounding being graceful right going with the flow as a uh catalyst of oh i don't need to do nothing right now right but sometimes the flow is going with the flow of what is happening what is taking place what it is that we need to do all right so it's like figuring out where it is that we've been with that where are we with that you know so yeah let's see um and that energy was in so we were finding our ground a grinding grinding grounding within that um through connecting with our intuition right um seeing things very clearly like very i don't want to say surely but just trusting those subtle cues like okay i need this i need that because okay the way i was feeling like my head was killing me like <laughs> i was out of commission all i want to do is sleep right and i haven't had a cycle like that and, and excuse me for those who this is tmi but these are the types of things that i do share you know but um i haven't had a cycle like that in a very long time like just feeling very debilitated feeling very like i can't do anything i can't move like my head is killing me i can't look at anything kind of thing you know but i was like okay my body is lacking minerals right i need to 
go downstairs i need to fix me some tea i need some magnesium i need some zinc i need some selenium i need these things and i need to drink them and i need to nourish myself and my body thing was i wasn't hungry right so i still ate right i wasn't hungry but i still ate <clears throat> because i gotta put this out it's a lot I still ate because it was necessary, right? You, you're you losing, right? You're letting go, you're shedding. Replenishment is necessary to happen and take place. But yes, okay, enough about me, y'all. I hope that this new moon felt good for you, right? Or brought you to a place, a place to recognize how it is to bring that feel-good energy toward you. That sage is a lot okay but let's go ahead and get into this reading i'm gonna pull some moonology cards first since this is a new moon reading holy spirit ancestors spirit guides and angels i give thanks for this day for this time for this space in this place i ask that you all come through and offer your messages your insight your guidance your clarity your advice for what it is that we are needing to know to support us through this new cycle of this Pisces energy what it is that we can expect to take place for us <clears throat> in all of everything it is that you are needing us to know allow me to be the bridge the open channel for the messages to flow through uninterrupted from a clear place Pisces, new moon energies. <clears throat> yeah, so we have full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Okay, so that's interesting because Sagittarius energy is actually squared. Um, well, Sagittarius in general is square to Pisces, right? So this may be um, a recognizing trying to be in a space where my reflection is in, in my glasses okay so um yes uh this there may have been some things that had come up in reference to what it is that's needing to be worked through right in ways in that is necessary in order to free oneself right to tap into one's sovereignty um pisces and sagittarius are both a very mutable they are mutable energies right so this is easily changeable they are very much so shapeshifters chameleons of the zodiac so it's like where there may have been something being let go in reference to beliefs right because pisces and sagittarius both have a lot to do with beliefs whereas sagittarius is a sovereign based spiritual beliefs whereas pisces is more dogmatic beliefs right this this is this way this goes that way kind of thing um which doesn't mean that they're not open to change it is just um it's more of a religious type of connection than Sagittarius is. Sagittarius considers all things within it, although Pisces does too. That's a lot. We're not getting into that right now. Okay, but um, look at the bigger picture, right? What is the full scope of everything? All right, what is it? What was the lesson in it? What did you learn, right? Sagittarius, what did you learn? What are you seeing? From that what does your higher self think about this what does um your higher mind believe to be true within this versus what your base uh nature is manifesting or uh putting out there to be uh, convoluted is the word i'm hearing right because sometimes our lower the lower aspects of ourselves can really put us in a place of not seeing things from a higher perspective seeing the bigger picture what would god say what does god say kind of thing you know so and at the bottom we have communication is key so there may have been a need to um <clears throat> talk to someone um connect with someone even uh maybe get clear on what's what you know in 
where things are going, what direction things are going in, what movement is taking place and how is it taking place? Does this movement really support you? Does this, um, do your beliefs serve you in the movement that you're going into? Are the steps that you're taking, is the action that you are um, moving in, does that support the bigger picture? Does that support things happening in a way that allows things to expand, right? Versus uh, keeping you small, keeping you in a one place kind of space. Right. Does it allow you to grow within? Okay. What other messages do we have here for the collective energy? Collective. Collective energies. What else would you like for the collective to know about this Pisces new moon? Right. So we have right questions. Right. Making sure that the right questions are being answered. Making sure that you are. Um, talking to the right people watching the right things eating the right things right um taking care of yourself in the right ways right uh that you're doing the right thing okay making sure that you're ready for the answers of the questions that you're asking maybe you're asking the wrong questions all right what is it that is necessary are you paying attention to the signs are the signs eluding you pisces is it an illusion or is it um, are in you are you in a space of creativity and imagination are you being very clear in what it is that you're asking all right when it comes to a tarot reading right let's just take that for example you want to make sure that the question that you're going to ask your reader that it's very specific all right because spirit is vast it's infinite it is it's all right many things can come through in many ways so you want to be very specific to your cause to of, of what it is that you're asking all right so what is it that you want to know what do you need to know what again direction are you going and are you asking the right questions are you talking to the right people are you doing the right thing okay so yes smoke signals at the bottom here um making sure that everything is in accordance to um what's right right for you right so not necessarily what it is that you think is a right for somebody else or that somebody else thinks is right for you is this is this right for you do you believe this to be right for you right <clears throat> Are the questions that you're asking allowing you to uh, gain more sovereignty, gain, gain more freedom? Is it aligning you to uh, seeing things in an unconditional light? Are you questioning things from an unconditional space? Are, are there parameters? Are you over exacting in your questions? Like, can you only receive this answer and it be nothing else kind of thing? Okay, we have two cards. And then we have no and take a break. So whatever questions that you're asking, it's saying no. It's like no, postpone. And it's not necessarily no, not at all. It's really like not right now. Like not this, not right now. Um, you need to wait, right? Maybe there is something, a, a change that was trying to take place, a, a change that was trying to be made happen. And it's like, no not right now not today um not at this time just wait right because it's something about needing to reveal yourself for who it is that you truly are needing to be who it is you, it's something about honesty all right because sagittarius has to do with the truth okay so who is it that you are in how is that going to what do you need to do to connect with more of that can you be willing to be open and be more honest with yourself within that hmm that's interesting makes me think about a situation in my life currently <clears throat> that sage has filled the room and it's all up in my throat what other messages do you have for the collective here spirit so we have Enema Mundi. 
Animal Monday means accepting all, right? Again, this is a lot of unconditional, unconditionality, unconditional energy. Um, we're going to read this. So, this is the soul of the world, the all that is. Animal Monday epitomizes the principle, accept all, reject none. Simply put, it is the living soul of the world in all its multifaceted, multidimensional layers, bonded together by loving cosmic forces. Diversity is celebrated, multiplicity is honored, and nothing is denied. Embrace. Nothing is denied, embrace. Constructs of separation dissipate into the wonderful mess of shared consciousness. Anima Mundi is the link between the literal and the imaginal, the rational and the mythic. It is the connective fiber that makes life meaningful. This card indicates an initiation on the level of the soul. You will awaken the unique light within and witness how this light contributes to the radiance of the entire universe. You will sense yourself as a critical note in the cosmic orchestra. Destiny is altered as you hear the enchanted melody of all living things. So... This is tending to the sacred details of life. In the shadow, it's overwhelmed by the bigness of existence. Yeah, so it's something, again, something that's being hid, right? Not not seeing the bigger picture, not, it's like, accept everything, accept everyone for the allness of who it is that they are, right? Recognize that they are coming from the best place it is that they know how, right? Are you asking the right questions? Are you coming from, are you accepting the fact that you are coming from the place best that you know how, right? A life's work is not a season, get off the treadmill. It's okay to relax, it's okay to take a break, okay? Give yourself some grace, give other people some grace. The bottom is agape, a lot of love energy. That's unconditional love, okay? That's devotion. So, hmm, very interesting. What other messages do you have here for the collective spirit? What else would you like for them to know at this time for this Pisces new moon energy? For this Pisces new moon energy, the collective. first card we have is the grandchildren so this is the star card it's a lot about the future legacy um and okay so it's like the it need to consider all everything about and in, in the way that you are moving like you don't have to force things to be something other than what it is that they are right because in the force of that it is stopping you from being able to make the right steps it is that are needing to be made for this grandchildren energy for this star these future this these wishes these hopes these dreams to come through in the way that you want them to come through okay you need to rest your mind right take a break just relax be patient meditate relax again just it, you gotta stop thinking about it so things can come in the way that the divine is orchestrating it for it to come because here we have the ten of nine so it's like needing to let go of the past needing to put down those thoughts those uh those feelings of something is going to happen right this is that ten of nines energy is that card that says like I'm going to do this, but in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking like, this not going to work. This not going to work out kind of thing, right? It's like a, a needing to temper one's thoughts, a needing to temper, get down to the root cause even. Like maybe that's what the meditation is going to do. It's going to help you sit still within that because at the bottom we have the son of baskets. So it's something, it's, it's an emotional uh connective intuitive kind of loving energy right it is uh like a recognize where it is that you're coming from recognize uh the space it is that you are in what thoughts what does your thought patterns do 
right? And how can you help yourself um, not be so focused on the mundane aspects of a thing? All right, there's Aquarius energy here. There's Libra energy here. There is Gemini energy. Yes, this is Gemini energy, okay? So it is... Actually, that's Aquarius here twice, okay? So this Aquarius, Gemini, mixed, Aquamini, thinking, outcast, all right? So what is the melody, right, of your life? How does that go? How are you um, composing? How are you orchestrating, right? That Anima Mundi en energy came up with that. Like, how are you orchestrating this um, in... in, in which ways are you directing the course? Are you the stew or are you the chef? Okay, are you lost in the swirl of things or are you tasting the flavors of how everything is coming together, right? How do you feel? Where are your feelings at? What emotions is, or do you need to move away from, right? So they can stop uh cold because the son of basket is like an immature energy too so there may be something like childhood based inner child base that keeps coming up maybe something triggers you right maybe something right because the ten of knives is also like a backstabbing betrayal kind of energy and it's like in this situation that's happening right now does this reflect something that happened in the past right is there some inner child healing that's needing to be done is it really betrayal or is it something that we could have seen coming is it really someone after you or is it actually a way that you haven't you haven't healed from a certain space or you're perceiving it as that right meditate on it okay let's keep going so we're gonna do yeah fire signs first we're gonna do fire signs first not gonna pull no moonology cards with that um, we are gonna pull some other cards though okay so let's see great spirit what is this 2229 what messages do you have for uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius fire signs for this Pisces new moon fire signs for this Pisces new moon one second y'all want to write that down ooh Fire signs. Fire signs. For the Pisces new moon. What messages do you have for fire signs for the Pisces new moon? Fire signs for the Pisces new moon. Okay, so we have the tower. Okay, so fire signs with the tower. Um, uh, you may be in this space of being, of seeing yeah where where it is that you're going you recognize the direction it is that it's time for you to go you're taking that that route you're moving forward all right maybe um you are also receiving some advice maybe you are the person giving these people the advice right this can be a a parent guardian mentor type of energy that's supporting you or you could be that uh all right in something you could be recognizing um the uh what it is that it's time for you to do like in reference to your children right like so this aha moment in a sense this can also um just be speaking about knowing right being con either connecting with somebody who you can trust who um it's wise in their counsel or perhaps this is even you okay um either way the the 
what I'm getting is that whoever it is that you're connecting with or if this is you is a very loving blooming blossoming kind of energy um, for those of you who have been thinking about like doing any type of mentorship or any type of um, or needing a mentor right it's it's time to go ahead and say yes to that to go ahead and open up to be more proactive with that right we um, put yourself as that beacon of light out there right or check for that beacon of light that you are looking for okay so um it's really important to also your dreams may also be something that is being a guiding post for you for you to you in the direction in which it is that you need to go okay and there whatever it is it's time to for the seed to be planted for that though you know so that you can um really go ahead and get things watered fertilized oh that's a lot of cards i'm not reading all of that um but definitely time to speak up more uh maybe maybe you're encouraged to talk about what it is that you've witnessed that you've seen okay maybe even just about you your life right what else is here the tower something things may be changing for you in a very big way but it feels like a good change um a change that you've been desiring for real that you've been waiting on for quite some time and it's taking place for you what else for pythons yep and look we got the okay um give me a second okay well, i have to come back to that okay so we have storm a lot of tower energy this card says i make shift happen okay this is oya oya brings the winds of change all right something is dying she governs the graveyards okay um things are changing for you in a drastic but a very powerful in a loving beautiful way like making make sure th it's almost like the space that you've been in is complete, completely uprooting itself. It's completely leaving, changing, moving on. You know, uh, it is being something new, something different. Give me one second. I cannot respond to that right now because I can't stop this. I'll be right back, y'all. Give me a second. edit that out so yes Oya let's continue so Oya says the winds of change are in motion into every into into every life a little rain must fall personal storms clear away the old sometimes change moves change moves slowly at other times change is swift what would you like to change if you are not actively changing you are choosing it to make shift happen Focus on what you want. Stop giving energy to what is not working. The biggest thing holding you back. The biggest thing 
holding you back is you. If you want people in life to treat you better, you go first. If you attract betrayal, stress, and strife, and common the common denominator is you. Beating yourself up is self-harm. Feel your feelings, honor your journey. Tell yourself the truth and practice self-compassion. She says, I make shift happen. Okay, so yes, making shift happen here. All right, my fire signs. See what other messages do we have here? Wow, 30 minutes already. <clears throat> what other messages do we have here for the fire signs? <clears throat> Well, this card is out okay um so this is aunt carolyn aunt carolyn is the uh will of fortune right so again change some serious change is about to take place fire signs um the wheels of fate are turning um things are happening yeah like there's an ending to something and it, it has a lot to do with um who how you relate who you relate to who you connect to how you speak how you think all right um where are you going where are you headed where are you moving okay um this can be endings of relationships this can be beginnings of new relationships okay this can uh be an expansion of sorts that is very unexpected um something that may even <clears throat> close the door please um did you need something no i don't want no crackers do you want some crackers okay um yeah this may be something that uh encourages you to go within right to go within to do some internal reflection uh to because your guiding light, your guiding post may be your own self, right? It may not necessarily be anybody outside of you. This may be just needing something. This just may be needing to be some work it is that you need to do on your own volition, right? Without the involvement of anyone else. If you do need help, it's good to ask. This is very strong mentor energy coming through. So either you need a mentor or you are the mentor one of the two so we have um a queen of feathers and three of lotuses so it's a word anoint you anoint others with your word your words are anointing it's um it may be a good time to get into the astrology get into astrology period if you are not already recognize the cycles through astrology okay these cards so the three of lotus this is gemini energy moon divine intelligence lord of time inventor of writing patron of scribes source of all knowing pertaining to the past and the present you know power to communicate in every aspect of one's life yeah so like i was saying it's something in reference to the past and it mimicking the present kind of energy or clearing away of the past uh past of toxicity especially within relationships that you've had that you've held that were mm, probably dear to you at one time it's time to let that go right or you know these people could still be in your life but you're still holding on to old things that you've experienced with them and it's time to let that go okay so the queen of feathers here it says earth anoint birth right so this could have something to do with your success in life your career um your job right even so sound cognizance permanent permanence and stability it represents solid matter and the structure of the universe the crystallization of spirit into form all right this is sink into the earth anoint your body temple with the purest essential oils of sacred flowers and medicinal herbs use small bowls of salt to absorb negative energy so you may want to take some bowls of salt put them in the corners of your home okay so uh, maybe you want to put some in your car all right underneath your bed even 
maybe you want to take a nice spiritual bath with some herbs some sea salt some epsom salt right to pull that up out that baking soda to uh encourage things to rise to the surface so it can be cleared away okay herbs like uh bay leaf and um basil with roses and 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 uh, essential oils of frankincense and myrrh and lavender all right things that are going to help you clear and bring peace to your mind bring stillness and, and clarity even to help you uplift yourself okay so let's see fire signs what's your personal power here for this pisces new moon the messages the pisces new moon for fire signs New moon for fire signs. This is new moon for fire signs. Personal power. Yes, so we have two cards coming out. Let's see. I am per perceptive and I reveal my truth. So your power lies in what you can see what you understand and what you know okay and you reveal your truth right so this may have something to do with you accepting um the reality of seeing the truth of who it is that you are okay seeing the truth of the circumstances that you have experienced seeing the truth of what has been created within your life and what needs to change and what needs to go what needs to be cleared out and what can no longer really um what can no longer carry you to the type of abundance that you desire for your life you know like what is it that is truly necessary for you in order for you to meet your desires to have your desires in the way in which you want you know pamper yourself making sure you're taking care of yourself in a right massages spa days right do it at home if you got to foot soaks okay get your nails done get your hair done get a haircut okay however whatever it is that you need to support you making sure that you're taking time to learn to read um or maybe you need to stop focusing so much on learning and just read a book that entices you, that feels good. Okay, fire sign. So that is your messages for this Pisces new moon. I hope that that serves you well. That top, the top has popped. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with earth signs. All right. So earth signs for this Pisces new moon energy. What messages do you all have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? What would you like Pisces to know at this time? Pisces to know. Earth signs to know for this Pisces new moon energy at this time. What messages do you have for earth signs? Excuse me. Okay, so we have the key maker. So with the key maker coming out, there are some blockages that are being removed. Um, it's giving you've come to this space of consciousness that you've been waiting for. Uh, in order to cultivate a certain understanding that was necessary in order for you to be able to move forward in the way in which it is that you needed to. The doors are now open for you to walk through that, for you to um, say yes to this thing, right? To go ahead and move forward with the understanding it is that you have, like you recognize now very clearly who it is that you are and what it is that you're here for, Earth Signs, and what it is that you are here to do, right? Um, this can even speak about something as small and mundane as, um, you know, when it comes to walking through a new door in reference to how you feel about yourself, how you think about yourself, right? or what you do your routines and things of that nature but you first had to come to some type of some sort of clarity some understanding it seems 
but you're there like what you've been waiting out is now has now passed like you get it now it's like a, oh aha uh -huh, i see boundaries so you need better boundaries you need to protect yourself right within this place it is that you're going be very clear on what it is that you're giving what you're doing what you're willing to hand out and what you're not handing out right um this is it says where do you need to establish better boundaries this can be um you know because when we start doing something new new people new experiences new new everything just comes in right so it's like um not just saying yes because it came but really being discerning right being discriminant right we gotta discriminate uh of what works what's best right being um again discerning for what is what what truly aligns with who it is that you are and what you want and where you're going and being very honest about that and being okay with the fact with what is not going to work you got to be okay with uh what is yours to do you know because it seems that there is some type of um ancestral cord that you're breaking and i started thinking about how sometimes um it may be something that's very common for us to go outside of um our lineage outside of our culture to do a thing right and not saying that's a bad thing because some it's great to know more it's great to see more but sometimes um maybe you're in a space of having to come back to that to come back to what was right and um putting boundaries in reference to um it's almost like everything is not meant to be included because that's really what boundaries are right knowing what's what's what what's meant to be included and what is not okay because the door is open and it's like even the smallest things like what is still trying to grab on and latch on to you and you shall know yeah there's something old old disappointments old uh okay maybe perhaps being lost huh it may need to let go of something in reference to grief something grieving um getting strong grief energy here uh something in reference to despair it's like you've already moved through this and it's necessary for you to kind of uh do what it is that you need to do in order to let this change right yeah it's a, a change it's like don't be insecure in what it is that let the old disappointments fade away because that's not what this is i'm gonna clarify what what is this five of baskets why is this here for the earth signs yeah because you're on a new journey right so okay this might have something to do with some type of like hurt that happened but oh okay you may be someone who's very loving very giving very kind and generous with your energy very supportive emotionally okay you may be a very sensitive person and needing to learn how to put up your boundaries in regards to how you're going about um, connecting with others, right? Um, maybe at one time you were very open, okay? Very trusting even in needing to learn. This may have been something that you experienced when you were younger, but um, this can ew. okay so this is also in reference to what it is that you create what you're building right what what your ideas that you have your inspirations it is that you have and coming up out of that space of um well this happened in the past what if this don't work right this is it 
maybe you want to listen to the fire sign I'm reading because it's a very similar energy um that is it's like you got to give yourself some grace you know and, and put your boundaries you got to be okay with whatever boundaries it is that you have to put up based off of what it is that you've learned from the past right because when the five of baskets comes up this is showing us of it shows us where we were, went wrong if it was a disappointment that's because we got disillusioned by something that we thought was gonna work out we thought was something was one thing when it was something different right but um it's okay to heal it's okay to see yourself right it's okay to recognize the role that you played in the past and let it go Put your boundaries up start new do things differently moving forward okay because the door is open and it, honey it is waiting for you to walk through it some of you might be stuck in this energy though you gotta let it go what else is here and i don't mean that in like a bypassing kind of situation you have to do whatever it is that you have to do to work through it go talk to somebody right um, get you a therapist okay go and, and get you some reiki to move that energy okay me i'm always encourage get you some root work done okay get yourself uncrossed up out of these emotional binds and ties okay what else yeah we have the soul star here nine of Ankh. it's important for you to connect with that chakra the soul star is the chakra above the crown chakra so this is that what is um your connection to the divine that's the chakra that funnels the connection from the divine what else? and we have healing yeah so this is, who is this? Sekhmet energy. She's the wounded warrior. It's time for you to put yourself first. And the magician energy is with Sekhmet. So maybe you need to connect with someone who is a root worker, okay? To help you move through this on a, because it might be like some type of ancestral kind of energy. It is, it has something to do with who it is that you are. At the bottom we have Aries okay the emperor right your authority your agency what is um what is being reflected to you outside of you about you okay so let's see the soul star <clears throat> so the nine of ankh here it says air breathe thought is that the right one it ain't that's a feather what does it say soul star citrine self-healing is a lot about healing here that's needing healing your boundaries and and once you do that you will be able to see the door that is that is opening here for you um or that has already opened right because this is about success and happiness i understand center of becoming leads us to the energy of the moon this space is for karmic understanding and channeling that governs intelligence communication with our spirit guides and funnels information about manifestations tortella allows you to discern what is in your highest good and what is not so what is it time to let go of what is it time for you to walk away of what th this door that's opening is showing you you know like that this not that don't work <laughs> this don't work no more so what is it that you're going to choose to do differently you know, because here we have Sekhmet healing. This is Sagittarius energy, right? So if you didn't listen to the collective reading, like if you just clicked on the timestamp, definitely come go back and listen to it because that came up seeing about seeing the bigger picture of things. What is it that you learn? Beliefs, right? Maybe something wasn't, I don't know, aligned. Let's see. Um... It's the daughter of Ra, consort of Ptah, the lioness, patron of healers. Purification governs the process that destroy and eliminate poisons that come from unwise living, thinking, eating, and feeling. The magician, creative power, skill, and transformation. Okay, so um, it's time to get into that creative mode, right? Create you a routine that can help you come up out of this energy that can bring healing forth for you, Earth sign. And this is like 
deep healing this is not like a surface level oh i understand live healing this is like oh i didn't know that's what that was type of healing okay so let's see personal power for personal power for earth signs for this pisces new moon personal power for Okay, we have, I am connected. Yeah, so it's important for you to be connecting with your spirit guides right now. And I am fearless. We have Aries energy here again. All right, so knowing you are connected to yourself, knowing you are connected to your the divine, knowing that um, the messages, the knowing it is that you need, that you desire to receive, it's right there. Okay, at the bottom we have, I am a healer. Okay, so... This may be helping you tap into your own abilities of healing. Two cars just flew out. We have beauty and flowers. Buy yourself some flowers. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself, taking care of your beauty, taking care of, um, you know, beautify yourself, beautify your home, beautify your room, beautify your space, your bathroom, okay? Beautify your car beautify you whatever it is that makes you feel good that makes you feel comfortable within you do that what radiates beauty for you let your standards of beauty be of your own individual sense of self okay you are connected you know you understand be open to what that is and what that means for you okay earth signs so yes that is it that is all Earth signs, I hope that was helpful for you in this Pisces new moon energy. We are going to move on. And we are going to do air signs next. Air signs for 15, 24. I am right down. Um, I did not write down for the art signs. But I'm going to just have to go back and watch the video. Okay, let's see. Spirit ancestors, angels, spirit guides. What messages do you have for air signs? What would you like for them to know with this Pisces new moon energy? What messages do you have for Pisces new moon energy? for air signs what you like for the air signs to know air signs <laughs> the key maker i'll keep that in mind key maker was trying to come out with you as well air signs but let's see what messages do you have here for the air signs cards flew out oh, okay we have land of love and sleep so okay i'm getting a few messages with that so air signs there may be something there may be some dreams that you're sleeping of uh that you want to bring into fruition into your world all right this can be something like it's almost like there's something that you know that if you did this it would make your world that much more beautiful it will make it feel that much more good and you sleep on it you are either just in this space of oblivion right this this can be a very strong escapism energy here all right there may be you may be needing some love you may be letting go of love there may have been something that happened that have you like I ain't worried about love, okay? At the bottom, we got cosmic mystery. So, it's possible that something took place that was unexpected. <laughs> um, right? Or is it's you needing to trust and let go and let God in um, what's taking place, like how life is lifing for you right now. Um, there could, you could be trying to share love with someone and they seem to be sleep on you right but this could also be speaking about dreams maybe you've been having a lot of dreams 
in reference to love. Um, your dreams may be guiding you in how to get to this really feel good energy. But I'm also feeling a very strongly of an escapism energy. Like you're just kind of out of it in a sense, air signs. On the other hand, I am also feeling a very strong paying attention to your dreams, paying attention to uh, where you're being shown to go as you sleep, right? Maybe you are needing to get more sleep even. Let me see, what other messages do you have here for the air signs? You may be feeling like somebody is asleep on you. Again, like you trying to show somebody some love and they like, oh, no. What else is here for air signs? Okay, yeah. So this is about your dreams, right? We have uh, the initiation, right? It's a passage you're going somewhere sacred in Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. All right, so to me, even more so, like, if you sleep on what it is that you are wanting to create in your life, it's time to wake up, time to get going and do that. Go ahead and walk through that, that gate, that door, right? But know that what you're creating, it's happening. The, the heaven on earth it is that you are desiring to create in your life, it's happening. Like, it's taking place. You need to rest your mind. That's what this is. Okay. So because the land of love is about heaven, filling heaven on earth, filling heaven in your life. Okay. So whatever worries it is that you have, whatever, um, um, however, like continue to do what it is that's making you feel good. Okay. Continue to connect with those aspects of being of living of self that's making you feel good that's making you feel that you are moving forward in the direction that you it's it's something being initiated right something that's starting okay and it's happening no have no doubt in your mind put your worries to rest put your mind at ease Okay, whether this is about a love relationship, um, whether this is about uh, just how you want your life to look, how you want your life to feel, it is happening. Okay, you're going somewhere sacred. Y'all might be journeying somewhere, air signs, and it's going to give you the rest it is that you've been needing. What else do we have here? father of knives like really putting out you know move forward with clarity you know get rid of anything that gets on your nerves like if something getting on your nerves why are you still dealing with it why are you still entertaining it get rid of it like let it go let them go whatever it is if it does not um, align with the heaven that you wish to create in your life move beyond it it's time to just get rid of it be very clear about it right you have follow follow the follow the paperwork <laughs> it's what i'm hearing um follow the 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 contracts that are meant to be signed sign those contracts right um make those deals okay yeah Make the plan, write it out, write it down, make sure that you are consistent with it. Continue being very, um, I don't want to say cutthroat, but uh, be very blunt, be very sure. You are very knowing, air signs, of where it is that you're going and how it is that you want to get there and what it's going to take. You are doing the work in which is required. Let your mind be at ease in the knowing that you know, okay? Make the plans. <laughs> Make the plans. Get ready because you are moving, right? And this is not, it doesn't feel like anything small. It's like what's happening is big. Like a go big or go home kind of thing. What else is here for the air signs? 
and rest when you need to rest stop overdoing it like you don't have to do a lot whatever you put in is enough if it feels complete when you're done with it that's enough you don't have to figure out try to ponder on what else can i do what else do i need to do nothing absolutely nothing like rest what else is here yeah so we have ost ten of lotuses the empress and cleanse right so us, this speaks about union all right this is about relationships cleanse maybe there is some cleansing that's needing to take place that it is time to take care of maybe somebody is pregnant okay um empress this is water gestation energy hmm maybe somebody is pregnant all right because ten of us is about union this is libra energy mother of heru great mother african spirit culture bringer healer source of divine intervention and magical processes the emperor's material abundance fertility responsibility to nature okay so you may be coming into some money you may not see it yet right but whatever it is that you're doing right now it's birthing it's in its gestation period it is about to um birth itself into creation into reality very soon it seems um this may be something that is going to make you famous and not necessarily famous like oh i have all these whatever but like famous in the sense of um you're being more recognized even okay and so for the scribe of feathers this is the south utterance taste flows and soothes nourishes and cleanses promotes fertility in life the place of undefined powers from which the element of creation emerge where all possibilities are articulated but not entirely manifested dip into the ocean take a bath refresh your altar change your sacred space cleanse your sacred space your divine temple your crystals okay so definitely make sure you're getting some cleansing in making sure you're taking your spiritual baths okay world cards y'all my energy is starting to get low this is why i hadn't been doing by sign reading excuse me because i can't sit in one place for a long time <clears throat> but we almost done okay so let's see personal power for air signs gemini libra aquarius personal power for air signs that's a lot of cards it's too many air signs so if you're not pregnant yet air signs or have maybe someone around you is having a baby or maybe you're just birthing something new into creation even there's something just stating within your union. Yeah, I am celebrated. You are celebrated. Okay, so make sure you are celebrating yourself. Um, there may be some there, right? So that fame energy, it may be coming. This could just be coming from people around you who love you, right? You may be feeling very seen by them, very loved by them. Okay. And at the bottom is I am a dreamer. That's Pisces energy. So it's something about your dreams coming to fruition and you are being celebrated in that. So make sure you attend to your mobility and flexibility. The self-care car you have here is stretch, which is your energy. Air energy is about flexibility and mobility. We got sing at the bottom. So Make sure when you're in the car that you're jamming out, okay? Um, turn on some tunes. When you get up in the morning, sing you some songs. Let your <laughs> vocal cords do their thing, all right? Help strengthen that throat chakra, okay? So, it's air signs. <laughs> that is it. That is all for you for this um, Pisces new moon. I hope that that was helpful. And yes, let's get on to these water signs. So, what is this? Water. Okay. So, water. 
last but not least ever okay you are the majority of existence of elements <laughs> what messages do you have spirit for the water signs for this pisces new moon energy what would you like for them to know at this time what insight guidance advice clarity are you bringing the water signs for this pisces a new moon pisces new moon for the water signs Okay, so Pisces, we have Dawn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Dawn, <laughs> water signs. So this is something new taking place. Okay, and this is not this is not something new in reference to like, oh, I'm taking something old and I am recreating it. Like this is something completely new, right? Um, anything of the old has died and this could be just um talking about is something in my hair it is what is that i don't know what that is okay so yeah this is something and look <laughs> i'm saying that something is new with no remnants of the old i'm like what is that i don't know that's what that energy is like i don't know what this is but this is what i'm gonna do and this is how i'm gonna go about doing it I'm, I'm I'm waking up new. I, mean, I got new routines. I got a new job. I got a new car. I got a new house. I got um, my baby's going to a new school. I got me a new man or I got me a new woman. However, okay, I'm living a new life. I have new feelings. I got a new mind. It's clear. It's stable. It's balanced. I feel good. I'm at peace. I'm at harmony. It's beauty in my life. I'm happy. That's what is given water signs okay so yes it's it's newness like waking up in the morning and you're just grateful you're thankful for life and what it is and what it's given and what it's done Woo! feeling very emotional Woo. good lord <clears throat> water signs <laughs> <gasps> it feels good it's a it's a, a feel good like damn i'm happy cry you know kind of energy like i'm grateful thank you thank you god like wow water signs that feels good what are the messages do you have for water signs here spirit what else would you like for them to know okay three cards came out but i'm gonna just go ahead and share all of them okay this is the energy i was feeling so yeah all right i want to act right so we have katesh tanit and just say yes that's a good way to hold it okay katesh is sacred lust all right to me is pleasure they are both about pleasure katesh says it feels good to feel good okay and i think they may be okay <laughs> and to me tenant i don't think that's how you say her name she i think she's in the temple of is she in the temple of conjurers oh she is i'm gonna read these cards for you okay so she is the goddess of pleasure. She is out of Tunisia. It says you are thirsty for more pleasure. You can't thrive when it when life feels dry. You are made of laughter and stardust, not sawdust. Pleasure is your birthright, a gift from the universe. How much juicy pleasure can you stand? Turn up the pleasure principle. You secretly, secretly feel that you don't deserve it, but pleasure is healing and a manifesting force laughing loving and orgasmic joy is holy hold your hands over your reproductive and say out loud i deserve pleasure it feels good to feel good okay katesh is in the temple of lovers she has two <laughs> she's from egypt and she says you're an erotic creature you have a divine right to experience sensual ecstasy it's sacred to give and receive pleasure it, you deserve to feel good 
It feels good to feel good. So allow yourself to feel good. Lean into your sacred lust. Turn up your own fire and quench your thirst. Dance with pleasure. You're, you, you daring to embrace your sensuality will set the world on fire. Katesh says it feels good to feel good. Okay. And so it's very important that you are tapping into your pleasure principle. They both say it feels good to feel good. Are you going to choose to feel good, water signs? Just say yes. It's not a question. Like, it's not a question. Um, just say yes. All right. Maybe you need to get it done. Do the do. All right. Maybe you need to do things that make you feel good. Maybe you have been very focused on doing things because you have to. Right? It's, it's time to... I ain't saying letting that go because you always gonna have to still do what it is that you have to do. But you need to learn to feel good. You need to incorporate more things that are enjoyable. Okay. When you are eating, do you just can you close your eyes and just like mm, it tastes good? How does that feel? How does it make you feel? How does it taste? How does it smell? Getting mindful eating here. Mindful touch. Okay. Discovering your body. Even. <laughs> Getting very sensual. Like touch. Slow. Foreplay. What else is here? For water signs. What other messages do you have for them? Yeah, so... We have six of knives, right? So this may be a change for you that may be, it might not be as easy, right? As it should be, or as you think it should be. And that's probably what you need to change because sense of knives means leaving from one way of thought into another, you know? So it's like, let go, get out your mind, get out your head, all right? Go to the other side, cross the river, all right let your waters flow <laughs> literally and figuratively okay if it feels good to cry then cry if it feels good to laugh then laugh if it feels good to eat that second piece of something eat it if it do it's like you're needing to do whatever it is that you're needing you have, you've been in a space of being very restricted <clears throat> that's how it feel like you feel tight all right let go let go you don't have to be so restrictive everything doesn't have to be one way a routine is great but a routine with no flow with no ability to allow any type of intercession within it that's not living that's not life okay you have to let go you have to let yourself be free you have to be okay with saying yes what song is that I don't know if that's Beyonce or Destiny's Child. Sorry, playing in my head. Yes. All I can say is yes. 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 And I think, um, I don't know. Go listen to that song. I don't remember what she's singing about in that song. But yes, go move into your yes, okay? This must be something about your relationship, okay? This can even be something just about you, your soul, self coming into union and saying, yes, this is me. This is what I do. This is what feels good. This is, I love this. I'm going to do this because I love this and I can do this because balance is a thing and it exists and I don't have to restrict myself and I don't have to hold myself back from what it is that is good for me, what feels good, like what... What smells good, okay? What What's fun? What's adventurous? What's, you know? Yes, I'm going to do this. What else is here? <laughs> I'm waking. Yama y'all is at the bottom. Your mama said yes, okay? Great mother says, say yes, okay? Say yes to your man, sis. Say yes to your wife bro or maybe you are a wife with a wife or maybe you a, a brother with a brother i don't know your life okay whatever you do say yes to it okay 
Maybe your children are trying to help you feel uh, more pleasure, have help you have a better time. Maybe they see you just too serious and uptight and it's time to let go and it's time to have fun. Feel good, cancer. Your mama said yes. Your mama said say yes. The mother in you says say yes. Your mothers, your ancestors, your mothers say say yes. Okay. Home. It starts in the home. Where are you going? In it to win it. All right. If you're going to do it, then do it. If you're going to do it, then do it. If you're going to do it, be committed. If you're going to do it, then go with the flow of what it is that has to happen, right? Come up out of that space of resistance and let go and let flow. We got Capricorn, the opposite of Cancer here at the bottom. So maybe you've been in this very structured, routine very, it got to be like this. I got to do this. This got to be right. This, that, and the other kind of thing. You know, Capricorn and Cancer, Capricorn and Cancer are both cardinal energies, right? So they want to lead. They want, they want greatness. They want bigness. They want like, yes, I am secure. I want this. But do you feel good, right? Are you feeling good? I wonder. These cards are telling me that you in the past probably haven't been and this Pisces energy came through like baby give yourself some grace <laughs> yes 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 let me read this card this is this is about destiny and fate like it's a fated thing like it it has to happen it must happen it's happening whether you consciously take care of it or not, right? So it's going to happen regardless. I encourage you to be a part of the the play, though. Okay, so this is Nebahit energy. She's about the sacred home and sacred space. And so maybe you want to take some time to bring something, some beautiful things, some things that really feel good into your home, like uh, some beautiful flowers. Maybe you want to have some candles you can light every day, right? Maybe you want to uh, have a new fragrance flowing throughout your home, something that gets you feeling good. I'm hearing romance. Maybe you want to up the romance energy, not necessarily just on like a sensual space, but like colors are romantic, all right? There are many colors that are romantic bring some mood into the home even okay so we have crab water cardinal active summer solstice expansion patience filling chest breast stomach infinite potentiality and awareness is what cancer is okay it says the chariot oh this is also the planet of emotions and instincts which is the moon Conquest over mind and emotions, triumph or breakthrough, inventive solutions. So wanting to get very creative with what it is that you're doing, how it is that you're going about. Maybe this can also just be speaking about work even. All right, because cancer has a lot to do with security, security of life, making sure you have enough. Even you need to make sure whatever it is that you're doing, that it feels good. If it don't feel good this probably is not the road for you to go down anymore or at this time all right it's time for you to choose something that feels better okay water signs this is the wrong cards is what it is so let's see personal power for water signs personal power for water signs Personal power for water sign. Two cards came out. I am sacred and I am knowing. Okay. So, <laughs> you know. That's all I really got for that. You know. Know that whatever it is that, that the pleasure it is that you desire to feel, the feel good that you desire to feel is sacred and it is part of you. It is divine of what it is that is necessary for you to thrive. 
for you to be secure it must feel good your life must feel good it must be beautiful okay it must um go with the flow it must be right just allowing at the bottom is i am abundant the abundance for you is in feeling good if it don't feel good let it go do something new what can you do to replace that what has been treacherous to you find a new way to do what it is that you've been doing that's been just very mundane there are so many ways to do one thing find one of them that feels good for you okay self-care for water signs self-care for water signs sing Okay, go go listen to that song. I don't know nobody who ain't heard that Destiny's Child song. Or maybe that was just Beyonce. I don't know who it was. Beyonce was involved. Okay, go sing. Go listen to that song and sing it. And feel the vibration of the way that it's making you feel. Where you feel it in your body. Mm. Mindfulness. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is not simply just being like, oh, I ate that. Mindfulness is really getting it. Mindfulness is a very sensual kind of practice. It's a very sensual act, right? This is recognizing how it feels rolling around on your skin, on your tongue. What is it reminding you of? What thoughts come up? What feelings come up? What are you thinking about? Okay, what do you feel? building up in you with this okay Whew. at the bottom we got senses look at that y'all it's some stuff you can't make up and it be this all right so yes water signs i hope that this was helpful all right i will see y'all very soon i will have um another reading coming soon all right uh be sure I should have said this at the beginning. Be sure that you sign up for the classes coming up on the 22nd, the dream work class. Okay, we still have 35% off up until the 30th. Use code happy B day. Okay, and yeah, I look forward to connecting with y'all and I'll see y'all next time.